Welcome to another Thinkorswim tutorial where today we're going to be learning how to create a multi-chart or multi-window layout using either the charts or the flexible grid. Basically, we're just going to learn how to get multiple charts in front of us or create other chart windows if we have other computer monitors. If we go ahead and begin first with the charts page, and remember the way we get here is just by coming up here to the charts tab at the top and then selecting the first tab here down below, the charts tab. You can see down here at the moment, I've got a nice big chart pulled up for Chewy, and there are a few different indicators on here. But if I wanted to add multiple charts to this screen, I wanted to see, let's say, two charts side by side, or let's say four, two on top, two on bottom, all I would need to do is come up here to the grid icon in the upper right-hand corner, looks like a little square icon. And when we open that up, it's going to give you a bunch of little squares down here below. And each one of these is another chart that we could add. So for example, if we wanted to add two charts side by side, we'll come over here and hover over our second window here. We'll then just go ahead and click on it. And then we can immediately see a new little chart appears here on the right. And if I was to throw in a symbol in here, we can now see a chart for the S&P 500 pulled up right over here on the right hand side. And then if I wanted to have four charts on this screen, I would just come back above to the upper right come down below and this time hover over the four squares here. And now I've got four charts on my screen. And we could either individually put in our symbols in here, so throw in Microsoft or let's say Google, or if I wanted all of these charts to be the same symbol, but maybe I was gonna have either different time frames or maybe different studies on it. All I need to do is link all of these charts together. So in this case, I'm gonna link them all to the red color. And now looking here, we can see that each of these charts is set to Chewy. And if I was to change one of them, so let's say we change it to Apple, you can now see that all four charts change to that same symbol. But that's all you need to do to add additional charts to this screen. Remember, we just come up here to the grid icon and then down below, just select how many charts you want to see. But let me take a moment to thank the sponsor of today's video, which is actually me. Over the past year, I built a trading journal called TraderLog, which was designed specifically for options traders. You can either upload your brokerage statements directly, and then those statements are automatically organized by spread type, or you can manually add the trades individually if you decide to. You can then quickly track your portfolio performance, analyze your returns by strategy, and in the end, hopefully make more informed trades moving forward. Also, it's not just for options. You can also use it to journal your stock, futures, forex, and crypto trades. So go ahead and check it out using the link below and use the code TRADERLOG50 for 50% off. But I will say, just because we're looking at it, that the big difference between this page and the next one we're going to talk about is that this page is very symmetrical. So if you look here, if I wanted to have three charts on top, that's fine. But if I wanted to have, let's just say, one big chart down below these three charts, I couldn't select this and then say, oh, only put one on the bottom. If I've got three on the top, I have to have three on the bottom. If I've got two on the top, I have to have two on the bottom. Now, we could adjust the size of those, like I could make these top two charts much smaller, so I could have them take up a much smaller portion of the screen. Or I could have these charts on the left-hand side take up a much bigger portion of the screen. But using this, I couldn't specifically say, only have one chart down here. And that's the big difference between the charts tab and the flexible grid. So if we instead flip over to the flexible grid, you can see by default, it's actually very similar to what we just had. But in this case, we've got one big chart on the top and three little charts down here below. So this page right here is gonna give you a lot more flexibility in terms of where you wanna put things. So for example, if we wanted to have, let's say another chart up here, so we wanted to have like two medium-sized charts up here with three little ones on the bottom, we're gonna come back up to the upper right-hand corner, click on this little grid icon here. But this time, instead of seeing all those little boxes like we saw before, we're instead gonna come down here below and just check mark this box that says Customize Grid. That'll then put all of these little boxes in the center of each of these charts. They look a little weird, but you'll notice them in the center of each of these charts here. And this is how we're gonna add additional charts to this screen. So for example, if we look up here at the top chart, you're gonna see this first button here has like a little plus sign below this, uh, what's supposed to be chart icon. And this is simply saying that if we click this button here, a new chart is gonna appear below this one. So if I click on that, you can now see a new chart down below here. 
The second icon here, the one that's got a plus sign to the right of the chart icon, you probably get the idea. This one's going to add a chart to the right of this one. So if we click on that, you can now see a new window appears over here. And then finally, the last button in the list here, the one with like the little slash through it, this is how we can remove the windows. So if I go ahead and click on this little square here, we delete that chart. If I click on the little square here, we delete that one. And then finally, since I said I did want to have a second chart up here at the top, I'm going to come up here above and just hit the little plus sign in the center here to add a chart to the right of this one. I'm also going to give it a little bit more space, taking up about half of the screen. And then now that I'm happy with it, so I've got everything sized correctly, I've got exactly how many charts I want to see. I now want to get rid of all of these little squares in the center of the screen by coming back up here to the grid icon and then just deselecting the customized grid. And now that that's done, I could just go ahead and throw in another symbol up here. And just as an added reminder, remember that these windows don't actually have to be charts. We could instead make them level two data or an active trader ladder if we wanted to trade very, very quickly, or maybe time and sales data. Pretty much whatever you want to see, we can adjust these windows. So just as an example, let's say I wanted to see all of these the same symbol. So first off, I'm going to link them all together. Got to go ahead and adjust this here. But instead of these bottom three windows being charts, I'm going to make this first one on the left here a time and sales window. And you can see here, all I did was deselect the chart and instead click on time and sales. And then in this middle one, I'm going to change it from, again, the chart. I'm just deselecting it and instead coming down here and adding a level two data. And then let's say this final one, I wanted to be a active trader window. So now up here, I've got two charts for Apple up here at the top, and I probably adjust the time intervals for both of these, maybe adjust the studies I'm using. And then down here below, I've got the time and sales data, so I can see all of the recent trades that have occurred. I've got the level two data, so I can see all of the open orders still waiting to get filled out there. And then I've got my active trader if I want to trade as quickly as possible. Or if you're an options trader, I could always flip this over from the active trader window to the option chain. And now I can see all of the options on Apple and I could trade it directly from here. But again, just as a reminder, the charts and the flexible grid are very, very similar. The only difference is how we add the charts and how they're going to be visible on our screen. So the charts page is going to be more symmetrical. So again, if we've got two up here on the top, we've got to have two on the bottom. Whereas the flexible grid, we have a lot more flexibility in terms of where we can place things. Now, for those of you watching who do have multiple computer monitors and actually want to use them, maybe put charts on those other screens, in order to do that, all we have to do is come up here to the upper right-hand corner of the screen that we want to detach or create a separate window for. And when we open up this menu, all we're looking for is the button here called Detach. And if we click on that, you might not have noticed it because I'm not showing my entire screen, but it did just create a separate window of thinkorswim. And I could then resize that or adjust it however I needed to and put it on that other monitor. And if I move this out of the way, you can still see my same screen is still here. So it's not like it disappears. When we detach the window, it just creates a separate screen of that same tool. And if I make adjustments to the separate screen, like let's say I wanted to add another chart to this one, you can see that it has no impact on our previous screen. So this is a completely separate window, our same account. If I place trades here, it will be in my account, but it's a completely separate window that I could then customize and adjust however I wanted to. And then if I wanted to get rid of it, I just come up here above and hit the X button. And I do want to mention that we could do that with pretty much any tool on Thinkorswim. It's not just for the charts. So if I wanted to detach my watch list and put it on another screen, I could always come over here to my watch list on the side panel click on the little menu icon here, and then hit detach. And now looking here, I've got a separate little window for my watch list that I could put on my other screen. Or if I wanted to, I could detach the live news. Or if I got rid of that, I could always come over here to my monitor page where I'm keeping track of my positions. And for this one, you can actually see I don't need to click on the menu icon. The little detach icon is actually up here in the upper right-hand corner. But again, it's pretty straightforward. Hopefully that helps. And now you guys have an idea on how to create multiple charts within here, but definitely play around with it. Get it exactly how you like it. 
And if you're still interested in learning more, check out this next video to learn more helpful tools on Thinkorswim, and I'll see you guys there.